Welcome to Key to Success. Let's learn about keyboard events. An event is an occurrence detected by the program. In many cases, the event is a user interaction. Examples of events are pressing a key, moving the mouse, clicking on the mouse. Let's review the keyboard events you'll be using in the next several challenges. On key is a CodeMonkey function that works with your keyboard. Every time you press a key on your keyboard, the onKey function is automatically called. You can write code inside this onKey function to do a certain action when a certain key is pressed. So let's look at this example. We have the onKey function, and you got uppercase K, and we have a parameter key. So whenever you press a key on your keyboard, the value of that key gets passed in to this parameter key. And then you can check what that value is. We're checking here if the value is a lowercase w, step one. If you've just pressed the key, let lowercase s, step negative one. So your function could be checking other keys, key values. Um, it could be checking more key values. You could even do something if any key is pressed. Now in the example, as it's written here, what would happen if the L key was pressed? The on key function would get called and the key parameter would take on the value L, but since we're not checking for L, nothing would happen. Let's look at a challenge. Here's a fun challenge. We have a lot going on here. The monkey is on the turtle and needs to collect these bananas, but remember the monkey has to go past these bushes before getting off the turtle. And then we have that gorilla so we're going to need to use our potion to get our health up after the gorilla has been throwing things at us. Okay, and remember, we're going to do all of this by pressing keys on our keyboard. So we'll start by putting down our on key function. So remember, the key parameter takes on the value of the key you just pressed. Okay, we'll go ahead and use what they're starting us with. Okay, so if key, um, if the key you just pressed is a W, step one. Let's step three instead. And this, the monkey will step three. Okay, now let's say if the key is equal to an S, I'm going to have the monkey um, be able to move completely around. So let's say, let's step negative three. So now it goes forwards and backwards. Let's allow it to turn. So if key is equal to A, we could turn left. The monkey could turn left. If key is equal to D, we'll have the monkey turn right. Okay, now the monkey can turn how about that turtle? So if key is equal to T, let's have the turtle step three. Okay, let's see if we could do this. You have to press, I have to press the keys now to make it all happen. So I'll run. Okay, T, T. Okay, let's see, turn. Okay, we could get that banana. What if I turn around again? Try to get those two bananas. Okay, then I'll turn again and walk. Okay, I want to go get the potion. Oh, just in time. You guys are probably better than th at this than me. There we go. Now it's your turn to use keyboard events. Good luck. <laughs>